Hello my friends, we are back. Yes, we are back. Good old Country Oak. So I'm excited. Excited to take you on what is almost the two year anniversary of Country Oaks. I think we are at month 23. And I apologize because it is windy. It's also very hot here on a uh, Texas hot afternoon. But I'm going to do a little walkthrough. And I strongly, strongly encourage you to go back watch the very first walkthrough that I did at Good Old Country Oaks. You can see uh, what we looked like two years ago and where we're at today, right? So we're making really, really, really good progress. Uh, not 100%. Uh, we're getting close to 50%. And uh, so I'm really happy about that. I've kind of been doing a lot of this uh, on my own. Not on my own. I do nothing on my own. Uh, it's all with my team and my private lending partners and things like that. But what I mean by that, I've kind of ran this project um, very efficiently, you know, money-wise, and I trying to not to go too fast um, because, you know, if you recall when we started it, and I'm sorry I'm not giving some of the updates, but here we've got, now let me just take you back. I'm forgetting I need to do some updates. You know, when we, we purchased this project, we put we bought it, right when COVID was was beginning. So the first six to nine months was just doing a lot of development work, uh, cleaning it up. You can see here, so we've added kind of like a privacy fence to kind of hide the, the trash. We've got professional signage on there. You know, we've got a We Finance sign out there because that's the goal here is to ultimately, you know, um, provide home ownership to people uh, at a very, very affordable price. But so going back to the start of this project, if you watch the uh, first video, you know, like I said, it was COVID was going on. I was extremely nervous, right? Because it was a very rundown community. Whoops, it needed tons of repairs and uh, put the glasses here uh, and just wasn't sure, right? So we kind of first nine to 12 months, honestly, like went much slower than I, I wanted to wanted them to go. If you see here, this is another improvement that we did. We've obviously cleared a lot of lots. This was uh, put a black top down here. We're not done with the rest of the road works because what I'm gonna go back to in the beginning is like some projects, sorry, something just got my eye. Some projects, it makes a lot of sense to go very, very quickly. All right, sorry about that. I had something in my eye and I couldn't get it out. So we're back. So I'm showing you some of the homes that we've either brought in or remodeled. Like we brought that one in, remodeled that one, bought it and then remodeled it. That was a homeowner brought theirs in. We brought that one in, ran a newer home, uh, sold it, uh, remodeled that, bought that one, sold it. That one was existing and I'll, I'll continue on on the tour. But what I was talking about earlier, was that on some projects, you know, it just makes sense to go like go like gangbusters and just kind of bulldoze your way through as quick as possible. Um, you know, in times when uh, there's low supply, high demand. Uh, on this one, you know, I didn't know what the demand was going to be, right? So we're like an hour or so south of Houston, rural area, although very, very close proximity to the city. Um, and the place was like a little country in terms of the roads, the uh, lots, the appearance of the homes, and things like that. And I'm gonna kind of keep going back and forth. That's another home we bought and remodeled. There's another home we bought and remodeled. We had to fix. A newer home, I should say, a two bedroom. But so, the main plan of this project was to, you know, begin cleaning it up, uh, slowly infilling lots when we found problems, and kind of uh, navigate through 2020 and go into 2021 and kind of, you know, kind of test the air midway through 2021. And I'll be honest, until about mid to late 2021, there's another home we brought in. It's under contract now. It's got some There's another home. Double line there. But until late 2021, we didn't have a huge demand for the homes like I expected. Since then, since late last year into early this year, man, anytime we get 
get something uh, ready, market ready, it's gone. I mean, it just like goes like that. And the other thing that we've been doing are selling lots. Like we sold that lot there. We sold this lot there. They brought their own home in. We just demolished an old home there. We we're having kind of problems with the residents, so we just uh, paid them some money, bought his home, which was in really bad shape. Uh, so we can get that and uh, get another home on there that we're working on now. Okay. A smaller double wide, but extremely nice. So that's the thing, you know, that depending on who you subscribe to in the world of mobile home investing, you know, some guys are fixed next to nothing, leave it a piece of junk, and you know, just do nothing, right? So that's I'm an add value guy. I'm gonna add value. Of course, you can't add too much value. It's another one that we bought. We're renovating. It's another lot we're selling as is. They'll bring their home. But um, I'm an add value guy, you know, kind of guy. And, you know, obviously there's a thin line between adding value and profitability. And, and, the, and the same is true on the other side of the line where not adding value and, you know, and profitability. What do I mean by that? So I know guys who are kind of in the, I'll say the slumlord model this guy driving right here they want to buy four lots from us all owner finance right so we love that so i just met with them a little while ago but i like to add value i like to feel good about the profit right and so something that i i learned in the very 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 beginning of my real estate career um as a real estate entrepreneur best product best price right so you want to provide a good product at the best possible price so what that means to me you know in the world of uh, affordable housing manufactured housing mobile homes whatever you want to call it uh, is what we do is you know very clean very functional uh, but also affordable okay and you can't you can't have both right so typically what that means for us is it's another lot that we sold when they brought their home in. I also missed a couple back here, but um, so, so what that means for us is, you know, we're typically painting the interior and exterior, uh, repairing or replacing the roof. We'll install new skirting. Um, typically going to, you know, do new flooring and, uh, you know, countertops, lighting as needed, but a lot of times we will. So we'll do some pretty good rehabs on these things and um and that's our approach you know once again we're selling the lots off we're selling these as real property okay mainly through owner financing we had one that sold conventionally but mainly this is an owner finance opportunity for us as in as me as an investor and i am bringing on a partner now i mentioned that i kind of went slowly in this in the beginning uh kind of bootstrapped had to take a little bit slower test the market and now we're like profitable uh, in terms of like the amount of debt that I have and the amount of income that's coming in. That being said, you know, profitable, which is a major milestone, there's still a lot more work to do. You can see here at the roads behind me, we still got road work to do here. All of these lots here, this still all has to be cleared. Okay, boom, I'm gonna walk backwards here. So we still got a long ways to go. We still have, 30 something lots, um, about 20 on this side, 15 on this side. So where you see the road right there, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, well, it kind of ends because it hasn't been developed out. And this, this road was originally developed about uh, somewhere around the mid 1980s and literally uh, has not been touched since until we came in and graded it and filled some holes like that a few months ago. So what's next up on the agenda is getting these lots cleared out doing road work and uh bringing more homes in right so here's a couple we brought that one in uh, a week or two ago extremely nice double wide that one just to give you guys some context of pricing is going to retail so that one for about 165 175 and these are all approximately half acre lots here's another home here we bought this one used you can't see it very good but it's going through uh, major renovation uh, as we speak. Show that to you. And uh, 
and that's it so appreciate you guys going on a little walk with me through country oaks hopefully next time i do an update a lot of this will be cleared out we'll have even more homes uh on the lot i'm sorry at the uh development and you know as always you know i kind of rambled here uh, went on a couple of tangents but um wanted to give you guys an update and kind of see what a project looks like before progress in the middle and after and we're at that progress point um so i do encourage you to go back watch that initial video of my walkthrough that i did here uh and also you know there's probably uh, a lot of questions you may have regarding you know how we structure owner financing how do we market to find you know mobile homes how do we uh, navigate through dodd frank you know compliancy stuff with seller financing um who knows maybe a million other questions but i'll be glad to answer those and respond to those when i have time so just kind of post in the uh the comments section and always like you know it's youtube so we appreciate the thumbs up uh we appreciate the subscribes and uh yeah i appreciate i appreciate each and every one of you i hope you got a lot from this video and we'll talk to you soon